people have tried to plant chocolate in the sun. It is not a sun plant, it is a shade plant. And by trying to do that, they have introduced disease into chocolate, and it is literally killing it off. The chocolate is being eaten so fast, and there is such a demand that these trees cannot produce to keep up with this demand. The Theogroma means food of the gods, and it does grow in the wild tropical rainforest of the world. Um, the ancient Maya of Central America would first discover the cow pods. The pods that I have tonight came from Florida. They came from Miami. The trees that I have came from seeds which came from Puerto Rico. Um, it generally puts out pods November through May. Um, so these are like the last pods that I'm going to be able to get until next November. Monkeys and birds generally harvest these pods by breaking them open for their pulp. Um, the white stuff that's inside of the pods that I'll show you later is supposed to be sweet and good to eat. Kids in these tropical places eat this stuff. Um, I have not tried it. But this is one pod that I did cut open. Okay, we're going to take a look at how the aroma grows. This is my big plant that at the time was two years old when this photo was taken. Okay, you always want to use fresh seeds directly from the pods. Now, people will tell you that um, you can use the dried seeds. That's not true. Once those seeds are dried, they're chocolate. Um, they're still bringing them back. Okay, uh, this is, again, a fresh cacao pot open. This is ideally what your pod's going to look like. A lot of times you'll get them that's a little more dry. I know one of the pods that I have is more dried up than that, and you can hear it rattle inside. And they will begin to germinate inside of this pod. Okay, you want to carefully remove the seeds from the pod and place the seeds out on work surface. Um, once the pods are completely cleaned out, it's time to begin germinating your cacao seeds. I use damp paper towel to germinate the seeds. That's where you all have a paper towel, and there's some little cups of water sitting around. I fold the paper towel in half once, and then I slightly dampen it. Now, you don't want this thing wringing wet. You just want it damp. Okay. You want to put one seed per sheet of paper towel and fold it in half again. And continue the process until all the seeds are wrapped up, because as I said, if you leave them out, they're chocolate. I place mine in a flat that will hold some water and I check them every day. Germination can begin <coughs> within 24 hours to three days. Um, so and sometimes up to two weeks depending on how old the seeds are that's in the pod, but they germinate pretty quick. Um, one problem with growing the tree outside of its native environment is the lack of shade. As I said, the aroma is an understory tree. Um, it grows on the rainforest floors. It used to have all that rich debris that has dropped down. It is possible to grow this tree in a container. My tree is three years old, soon to be four, the spring to four. It first flowered for me last year. We came home from Chicago in August. The tree had been shut up in my house, and it had flowers on it. Um, within five years, you will have pods. These are not huge trees, and they're not real fast growing, so they make an excellent house plant. Um, I put mine in at about this size when I first got mine, and I put it in a five-pound <coughs> pot, potting soil, and compost and horse manure. And then I found some cacao mulch to put on top, but really any kind of mulch would work. I put it in a pot. I put rocks on the bottom of the saucer. I water it. I let it soak all that water up. I let it completely dry out until it starts looking like these look with the soil pulling away a little bit, and then I'll water it again. That's all I do. I mean, you can almost neglect this 